I don't think talking to my ex on the phone is a big deal. Yeah, well, you may not, but it needs to stop. You're not telling me what to do. <laughs> Honey, I'm not. But this is a mature relationship, which means we can't be putting ourselves in front of desires. How's that mature? You're stopping me from seeing an ex of mine. I'm asking you to think about me before you make rash decisions which could affect our relationship. That's all. Well, you're asking too much. And I'm seeing him again. Great, you're not going to see him again. And if you do, I'll be forced to analyze the big picture of this relationship. If that's the case, then maybe I don't... Ooh, let's all calm down. Or we can choose to ignore a vet like I do every day. I'm a certified pro at it. No, no, come on. Maybe what? The situation is Disney-style entertainment. I mean, you know what could make it even better? Is if you each position yourself like Bruce Lee and got ready to fight it out. Dibs on me pretending to be like Bob Wall. Shut up, dummy. What? It's a nice change from being Bruce Lee and having so much power. I mean, I want to be like you commoners. You know, try to be nice about it. But, eh, I mean, look where it gets you. Mind your own business. <gasps> I have been nothing but unhelpful and this is the thanks I get? Pfft, you are both disowned. Shut up, Dumbo. Daniel, you take Brianna and I'll take Calvin. You're my sister. You're meant to be taking my side. Honey, I've known you for decades and I know for a fact that your side is usually jacked up and pointless. <gasps> that she's right. Don't gasp. I'm feeling bad enough about having to deal with you. Oh, fine. Daniel, you can take my side, and I'll tell you why my sister hates the idea of wanting to marry you. Mm, yeah, she does hate it. Huh. I guess that's more reasons for me to keep hinting to her that I want to do it so badly. Ha, ha, ha. Kitchen? Yeah, sure. I made a leftover dinner that Yvette had zero input in helping me make. Thank God, because I love her, but her cooking is too weird for me. I hear you. Good. I knew you would. Exactly. I mean, when have we never talked trash to her face? People. She's just so immature sometimes. You should see her after three days without sex. She even comes on to Dan. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why him? He's the least sexy man on this planet. <laughs> preach, brother, preach. Wait, hang on. What do I see in him? Am I having a breakdown? <laughs> <laughs> By the look of it, I said you are. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. I, I just want Brie focused on me. Yeah, that's reasonable. Brianna should be. And I also deserve to be with someone who I can have an intelligent conversation with. True. We both never get that. Dan's constantly farting near me. I mean, what a dumbass. You know, sometimes I think maybe I've just made a mistake being with her. Whoa, I'm going to stop you right there, partner. I mean, I can't let you lose my sister. She needs someone like you to keep her grounded. I mean, but do I do that at all? A little, I think. <laughs> I don't think I do. Look, I just can't let you give up on her. Why not? Because I'm sure you make her happy. And you're the only person in my circle I can hold a conversation with. <laughs> and I can't lose that. Mama is not losing that shit. <laughs> I mean, look, I don't want to lose you either, but... But my sister needs to change. I know. She really does. Like, this version of her has too many viruses. It keeps slowing down our relationship process. She's crippling us. Oh, okay. Well, she's not going to change in one day. You, you just need to work with her. But she says I'm irritating. Well, are you? I mean, okay. The chick needs to look in the mirror before she speaks. I mean, last week she was out there shaking her booty, trying to entice men into letting her wash their cars. She did what? Haven't you had this discussion yet? I mean, okay, well, your relationship is on fire. You may need a firefighter to hose it down. <sighs> Thank you.
So, what can Dr. Charming help you with today? Do you want tips on how to be as awesome as me? It's all about the pose. Come on, how turned on are you? Ten being the highest? Well, I can't blame you. I need to dump Calvin. What? But he makes you so happy. So I guess... I don't know. I pay, like, zero attention to you two. Oh, no. I mean, I could barely track my suffocating relationship. And I'm depressed now. Oh, no, wait. It's just a headache. Whew. Does he? Does Calvin make me happy? You don't think so? Huh. You are a B-word. I always thought I was daydreaming about that fact, but... Eh, reality be a cruel bitch. Look, I need our relationship to be over. Okay, why? And bear in mind, there's not a massive cube of men who date you. Hey, be nice to me. My choice to leave Cal is a big decision for me. And it's life-changing. <laughs> I'm just saying, I've checked with our pals and, you know, done a survey and even debated with some politicians, bought a spaceship to go out of the solar system and check if even aliens want you, but, uh, <laughs> nobody's biting. What did I say wrong? I'm trying to be pleasant here. Do you want to know why I've come to that conclusion? Why? And bear in mind, I have zero interest in this story whatsoever. Zero. If you need me to cheerlead that last one, just say so. Calvin tries to control me, and he's always telling me what to do. Come on. Yvette's done that your whole life. What's the difference if Calvin does it? The difference is that I don't want that in a man. I want my man to talk to me with his dick. Not his mouth. I'll talk with my mouth. You ride me good and keep it shut. Uh, wow. Okay, I'm usually the dumb one, but even I know you're being stupid about this. Will you help me break up with him? Why can't you do it? I can't because I promised Yvette that I'd give Calvin a shot. If I go back on that word, she thinks less of me. Uh, yeah. Breaking news. She already does. A lot. I do too. I often run a Twitter poll on you, and I think many people on there do believe less. Ha ha. I say many mean things about you on there, and I'm not ashamed about it. Not at all. Quite the opposite, really. Could you help me? Well, no. I can't. I need to ask your dad if I can propose to a vet this week. Right, your proposal. Oh, hey, plastic rings count as diamond rings. Hey, great to know. Cheap rings are so much more affordable. Why don't people propose with them more? People be stupid. Uh, uh, look, my problem comes first. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't. You're always having issues. For a change, I want the focus to be on me. Hey, I'm more desperate. Uh, and I don't care. Yvette's making top dollar now at a restaurant, and I need to get married to her now so that there'll be a bigger settlement for me when we divorce each other. This brain does work, you know. Sure it does. I'm always thinking ahead. I'm not just a dummy all the time. <laughs> Fine. I'll ruin your plans. What? If you don't help me break up with Calvin tonight, I'll get my dad not to permit you to marry Yvette. <gasps> I don't think you'll say anything wrong to your dad about me. We both know I'm charming. Test and see. Hey, come on, your behavior is not how our family behaves. Well, desperate measures call for desperate actions, and I'm not sorry. Okay, then what will you say to him? Anything trashy, like Daniel watches animal porn, or Daniel washes his pews with olive oil. I'm making more up on the spot as we speak. He won't believe you. He trusts me. <laughs> yeah, right. That's funny. Good one. Look, you, you can't do this to me. Please don't underestimate me, Daniel. A lot of people have in the past, and... And what? Mm, I mean, nothing happens to them. But I'll make sure something terrible happens to you tonight if you don't help me. So what's it to be? You're horrible. Is that a yes to helping me? Mm, I guess I have no choice. Wait, could I murder you and run off to Peru? I mean, it's not my worst idea. Mm, yeah, I think I'm leaning towards that. Ah, uh, but I don't want blood on my new Nike shirt. You're welcome for being saved. Thank the Nike shirt. Look, I know you. You'll try to sneak behind my back and try to get my dad's permission before you help me. So I warn you, 
Don't try any funny business. I'm not playing with you. Uh, I've got it. I will burn down your happy life, Dan. Do you think I don't know how heartless you can be? I've been to the No Hard Left Brianna Club. Ooh, my joke of the day. Good. Now you need to go and convince Calvin why we should break up. Uh, babe, I think Brianna's cooking something. In my brand new kitchen? Yep, and it looks like she's burning it. Oh my god, I've told her never to cook in my house. But does she ever listen? Hell no! Brianna is a waste of energy. What? I mean, she treats her closest people with disrespect. She isn't that bad. I wish I could say that more convincingly. Really? So, coming on to me and her sister's house isn't considered evil. (laughs) She did that? (laughs) To you? Was she drunk? Oh, you would assume she was, but... uh, Yeah, more or less drunk. Yep. Mm, I should say something to her that. No, no, she knows it, and I promised her never to bring it up again. Wow, uh... (laughs) I never knew Brie was this horrible. Actually, that's a joke. Brie ran over a skunk last week and kept on driving while laughing really hard. <sighs> she scared me. Yeah, and that's why you should think of breaking up with her. Uh, I want to do it now. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Bro, did you make your draft pick yet? So, will you break up with her now? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> You're picking that rookie? <laughs> You're so dumb. How did it go? He says he might break up with you. I need a more concrete decision from him. Why don't you talk to him yourself? Hey, I've drafted two texts to send to my dad talking trash about you. Please, don't make me send them to him. You're bluffing. Am I? Ugh, fine. I'll try again. Hey, buddy. Have we settled on what to do about that thing we discussed about Bree? Um, remind me what we talked about again? You're going to dumb Brianna because she's been coming on to me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure it's not that big a deal. Brianna flirts with everyone. I suggested therapy for her, but she had a huge tantrum and I realized I was dating a child rather than an adult. <laughs> Look, I know she flirts with people, but come on. I'm her sister's boyfriend. Uh, it's not that big a deal. I mean, I flew with my sister's lesbian lover, and she doesn't mind it. Well, actually, she hates me. I, <laughs> I probably should stop that. Uh, look, can I tell you some stories about Brie? They might make you hate her. Why would you want to do that? So I can show you need to leave her? Um, okay, go ahead. Alright, get this one. Three months before you hooked up, she had a threesome with three men in the club bathroom. Without protection. Wait, wait, for real? Ugh, that's sick. Oh, I probably need to get checked. And to bring back to the lesbian theme, I'm not even sure she's straight. What do you mean? Well, she's been seeing this chick for five years straight. All I'll say is that she sleeps in her house three nights a week. Well, she always told me that she sleeps here. Lies, Cal. They're all lies. I, I need to ask a vet about this. No, 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 please don't, because it, it upsets her to relive it. Well, I, I mean, I need to do something about this. I, I thought I knew her. I know, man, and she just lies and lies to you. Well, I don't think I can be with her. I think it's a good decision for everyone, if you ask me. Hey, thanks for letting me know about this. Hey, what are best friends for? Uh, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, I sensed I crossed the line there. So, how's it going with you and Cal? Hmm, okay. Okay? I thought he meant more to you. You did say he was the man of your dreams. When did I say that? 
um, I must have dreamt he said it to me while I was in bed with Daniel. <laughs> Seriously, have I ever said any words along those lines? Yes. Yesterday at the market, when you saw him playing soccer with those kids. And that little kid tripped up Cal and he swore at himself. Oh my God. That kid's mom was about to knock his head off. <laughs> you laughed a lot. <laughs> yeah, I did. But is laughing enough? Look, I've never seen you this happy. You're more easygoing and you tell more jokes. So why does it feel like I'm not happy? That's because you're holding on to something from your past that used to give you cheap thrills. Let it go. And what? Embrace the new you, the happier, more chilled out, less whiny you. Maybe I'm not capable of doing that. Oh, come on now. Do you really believe that? Okay, in my shoes, would you? Would I wish I had what you have with Cal? Oh, heck yeah. But I'm not who Cal wants to be with. He wants you. Yeah, he does. He does. Honey... Talk through your issues with him. Yeah, thanks, sis. Well, I've done it. I've got Cal to end it with you. Now, I just need you to put me up for an award because the magic is so great that it was easy peasy. Please get him to change his mind. <laughs> what, uh, are you crazy? No, he makes me happy now. If I remember correctly, I told you he made you happy before you wanted to end things with him. I'm sorry, but I need him to change his mind about dumping me. I can't lose him. Mm -mm. You want him back? Then win him back. I'll send my dad that text in. Are you freaking serious? What text? Uh, hey, it's not important. How are you, baby? Do you want to watch a movie? With you? Uh, no, I don't think so. Well, you only have yourself to blame for this. I played no part in it. Hey, what's up? Why aren't you joining us to watch Black Panther? I'll be there in a minute. <sighs> Is everything okay? Um, what do you mean? You have a sad clown look about you? Well, I'm finding out a lot about your sister, which is making me depressed. Like what? I can't say. It involves Daniel. I need you to say. Please. No, I, I can't. I, I don't want to damage the relationship, and I just can't be that person. Dan, what the hell did you say to Cal? Nothing. I promise. Right, Cal? Well, it, it wasn't exactly nothing. You told me my girlfriend hits on you. She she does what? <laughs> she she hits on Dan? This guy? <laughs> hey, she's free to have him. <laughs> well, anyway, it's not true. I I made it up. Why would you do that? Uh, uh Yeah, why, Dumbo? Brianna, why would Dan make up a lie that you hit on him? Uh, I don't know. Well, she does. Shut up. Are you two playing me? I know they were, but the question is, why? Uh, Living room, right now. Ugh. Well done, dick. How's it my fault? You're the one who asked me to help you. Okay. Start from the beginning. Remember what's at stake, Dan. Don't threaten him. Dan, I need the whole truth. You are not in trouble. I know she coerced you into doing something. I'm telling the truth. 
I can make your life very challenging, Dan. The situation is one big gang to you. No, honey, it's not. Then let them tell the truth. <sighs> Fine, Dan. Tell them the truth. Brianna came to me to ask me for help. To do what? <sighs> to end things with Calvin. Why did you want to end things with me? She thought you were annoying. That was before Yvette told me how much you make me happy. Wait, so you needed her to tell you? Why couldn't you just feel like the rest of us humans? Eh, she wasn't exactly born with feelings. So, um, what was the plan? That Daniel would convince Calvin that he should end it with me. If you hated our relationship, why didn't you just dump me? I would have welcomed it. She didn't do it because Brianna had promised Yvette that she'd give you a shot. Right. So, the things you said about Dan hitting on you, they were... Lies, weren't they? Yes, barefaced lies. Yeah, and why would I be attracted to her? I have everything I need in my boo. <sighs> oh, thank God she didn't have a threesome with those men. Oh, she did. Wait, what? <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> You're a jerk. Look, you two need to discuss things privately. And I need to chat with my man over here. Ugh. Well, I'm about to fall into a pit. Bree, I need you to clear this issue up or Dad hears all about it. Fine, I'll try. Say something. It's been five minutes of you staring out the window. What can I say? I thought I was in a special relationship with someone I thought I got along with, and it turns out... I still like you. Yeah, but for a moment there, you wanted to end things with me. Well, it was a huge mistake from my end. Look, I don't think I can trust you. Oh, look, I was stupid. There's nothing wrong with you that would make me want to end things with you. You're amazing. Yeah, sure. What made you even like me in the first place? You have a beautiful face. Looks aren't necessary. What else did you like? You do me good in... That's just sex. I want to know what you like about my personality. I like a lot of things. Like what? Tell me. Uh, I don't know. I can't think so fast. You can't think because there's nothing in your head that you like about me. Okay. What do you like about me? Well, nothing now. But before this event, what did you like? Your laughs, they were soothing. Is that all? I like waking up to you and finding out that the bed cover is on me because my girl doesn't want me to be cold. Well, I don't want that either. Is there anything else? Uh, it's a biggie and I don't think you'll like to hear it. I'm a big girl. I can handle it. I like watching you be you. What does that mean? I like watching every beat of you, every single moment, every single thing that you do. Why? Oh, because in the last four weeks, I've slowly started to fall in love with you. That's why. Do you love me? I thought I did. Now I don't know what to think. Look, I just need to go. Cal, I'm sorry. Please don't leave me like this. Sorry won't make you love me. But I think I... You don't. You haven't got a clue on how to love someone. And I don't think you ever will. Goodbye. I need you to, uh... I'm on it, babe. Get out of my car, Dan. Hmm, I can't. It smells of lavender in here. And I'm a bit of a lavender addict. Look, do you love Bree? Look, it doesn't matter because she doesn't love me back. Yeah, you're not as attractive as someone as handsome as me. But anyway, how can you be sure Bree isn't in love with you? Oh, look, she more or less told me. More or less. Is that all that happened? What about the plot for her to get me to dump her? Oh, that's just her character flaw. Yeah, but it was enough to show me what kind of person she is. Alright, well, how about this? Is the thought of being away from her troubling you? Yeah, it is. Well... It's going to hurt more after a few days when you realize you could have worked out your issues if you had just talked. 
No, no, no. I'm, I'm out of her life. But I sense you don't want to be. I do. Get out of my car. Okay. But while you're driving away, she'll be even more heartsick than you. I know, I know. You can't keep living this half-life. I don't even think I want to anymore. Then treat the people that love you better. I mean, how have you never learned that lesson before in your life? I, I want to learn it now. Yeah, like you're capable of that? Hey! Hey what? It's true. Why do you want to learn now? What's unique about this time? I want to because I never want to feel like this ever again. I felt a loss so many times, but I've never to this extent. Losing Cal hurts me. So you'll change for the better. How? It's not like Cal will give me the chance to prove that I have. Maybe he wants to give you that chance. Did you come back? There's a lot more story to tell. Well, I'll leave you to it. What do you want me to do? I just need to be able to trust you. And how can I prove that you can? You know. I don't. Spell it out. Please delete all the numbers of your exes. Done. I want us to talk to each other better. That means not going to Daniel to get him to do stuff that you want to do. Mm, yeah, you're right. If we have a problem, we come together and discuss it like two mature adults. Yes, and I will do that next time. And for my part, I'll try not to order you around so much. How does that sound? It sounds like you're the man of my dreams. <laughs> That's good to hear. Okay, you're free to come out now. We've talked through our shit. I'm so proud of you, Bree. Thank you. I'm so happy for us. Welcome to the family, bro. Yeah, it's a great family. Could we capture this moment? I'll take the photo. Nah, I'll do it. You get in the picture. Okay. Say cheese. 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 Yvette, you got spinach on your teeth. I do not. <laughs> oh, you do. Yeah, you do. Ah, made you look. <laughs> 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 okay, I need a new family. <laughs> <laughs>